Hey everybody, it's Metal Luigi bringing to you um, another part of my Pokemon Pearl walkthrough. The last episode, we did a bunch of boring stuff. We battled a couple trainers in the trainer school, and that's pretty much all I can remember based on what I remember. So this, uh, the last two episodes probably would have been boring because you know it's the start of the game. So this is actually where the game fully starts and where it gets good. So in this episode, we'll be doing a lot of battling. Expect a lot of trainer battles. Oh, another thing. I trained my, I trained Flight and Roots. Roots is level 11, Flight is level 10. And Roots learned two new moves, Quick Attack and Wing Attack. And, and Roots still has three moves. So let's get on with this battling. I want a weak looking what a oh a weak looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? Yes I wanna have a go. I'm not weak. You're the weak and miss miss I mean I'm sorry, last Sarah, you're the weak one. Beedoof, see? You're so weak you had to choose a beedoof. Another thing I want to point out in this episode, we'll be catching another addition to our team, and we also will be in the next episode. Um, and another thing I want to point out, I was doing some calculating with you know the HMs you have to use in this game, and we might have to catch up a barrel as um for rock climb because I already have um, Pokemon on my team for rock smash and strength. I just need a Pokemon for rock climb, and I think. I'm just gonna use Barrel. He's not gonna be part of my like actual team. I'm just gonna use him as like an HM dummy. That's all I'm gonna use him for. Nothing else. So let's get this battle started. Maybe I should have started while I was talking. That would have made it go by faster. Flight, you can do better than that. Although, what's quick attack? Attack fell. Try wing attack. Yeah, that's better, even though it's basically the same HP. Because that Beedoof is lowering Flight's a HP every turn. Just making it go down, I'll do another wing attack. And I should finish off Beedoof. That Beedoof is our enemy. Critical hit. Even though we didn't need a critical hit to take it down, it's still good. Just in case. And Flight earns 87 EXP points. Or experience points, which I want you to call it. Oh, I should have said no. Darn right, you should have said no. Continue on. Oh, no. No sign. I don't want to talk to you, sign. Get away from me. My dad gave me some Pokemon. They're going to win for me. Yeah, they're definitely going to win your battle. This battle. They can't beat us. The doubt magic herb. Wow. Your dad gave you a magic herb. Some father he is. He must be an awesome Pokemon trainer. Level five magic herb. You splash. That's all magic herb can do. Cause you're weak. Oh, and magic herb may be a bad Pokemon, but what it involves into Gyarados. It's pretty awesome, and I will be having a Gyarados on my team as well. Magikarp is pretty much useless since all it knows is Splash. But, well, it can learn Tackle, but uh, it's not that good as a Magikarp. But it gets way better when it evolves. Let's tell about it sending Starly. Will I change Pokemon? Yes, I will change Pokemon. Go Roots. The Starly is no match for Roots. As long as Starly doesn't have any flying type moves. Level 5, I wouldn't expect any flying type moves on that Starly. Oh, almost a one hit KO. Almost one hit KO. Starly uses Tackle. Only takes away about, I don't know. Starly uses Quick Attack. 
3 HP taken from that quick attack. Not much. We gotta finish off this thoroughly. And battle is over. Some Pokemon you got from your dad, huh, kid? Or youngster Tyler. Whatever your name is. Your dad has awesome Pokemon. But the Pokemon I got from my dad. Your dad is a terrible Pokemon trader then. Okay then, let's... Wait, what's that over there? It's a Pokeball. I'm not gonna bother getting that. Let's go ahead and battle this girl. May I please trouble you for a battle? Yes, you may trouble me for a battle. Challenge my last Samantha. One Pokemon. I bet it's Bidoof. Yep. Oh, wait. No, it's not Bidoof. It's Badoo. I don't know if this is the, our first time seeing a Badoo so far, but I think it is. Mm, let's use Wing Attack because flying is super effective against grass, obviously. And it should be a one hit KO. One hit KO. One hit. Yes. One hit KO. Super effective. Yes, we've been over that. I expect light to level up. Possibly. Yep, leveled up to level 11. Defeated last Samantha. Oh, you're so strong. Yes, I'm so strong. No, sign. I don't want to talk to you. The Sky Trainer? Boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. I don't think a Pokemon should be able to break the boulders. No, that is not a trainer. As you can see, the boulders he was talking about breaking, you can only get fast if you have Rock Smash, which you will get after beating the first gym. And we found found an antidote. Put that in the medicine pocket and ran into a uh ran into a Zubat. Zubats are useless. Zubats are useless, but Golbats and Crowbats, those are pretty good Pokemon, but. I have nobody to trade with. If I were to, if I were to get a Golbat, I will have nobody to trade with to get a Crobat. No one at all. So let's just forget about the Zubat. Good, we didn't run into any wild Pokemon. That's good. Uh, I'll just get that Pokeball a different time. What does this guy say? Oh hello, yes you with that cool scarf. You should have been the you should have seen the boy that came running by earlier. He ran past me so quickly I can you imagine hello. I wonder who that could possibly be. It's Barry. Hey Emily, tell me you got a little tougher. Me? Do you even do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. Uh, sounds like Pokemon Trainer Barry. Barry sent out Starly. This Starly's only level 7, really, compared to our level 11 star flight. Let's fly. I'm gonna send out Root so he can get a little training in this battle, too. And then when he switches to whatever he has, Chimchar. Whenever, when he switches to Chimchar, I'll switch back to flight. Well, he doesn't know any flying type moves. Quick attack. That's not that bad, only lost four. Uh, let's use Absorb, since we'll get healed by that. But his Starly goes for another quick attack. And still only does five, four. I'm sorry, four. Let's use Absorb. Not very effective, but we still got HP back. And that was pretty much waste, a waste of a turn. Let's go with Tackle this time. He's going to keep using Quick Attack, isn't he? Until eventually Root is dead, but we will not let that happen since Root is strong and he can stand it. You see how much that Tackle just did? His style is no match for Root's. No match at all. Use Quick Attack. Starly used Quick Attack. And only takes, I don't know how much, I'm not going to say how much. Tackle, attack again. And Starly has fainted, and Roots gains some EXP. How much? Flight gained 42 EXP because I withdrew him, and Roots gained 42 EXP as well. Will he level up? I don't think so. 
gem char. He still has a gem char, and I still have a turtwig, so I'm gonna send out flight since I don't trust roots getting burned because Chimchar should know Ember by now. His Chimchar should be level 9, I think. Around level 9, if around that that level. Yeah, yeah, I was right, level 9. Okay, good. So, wing attack. Obviously, flight is faster than his Chimchar. We cannot let Chim Chimchar be faster than us. Use scratch. He's, I bet he's just gonna keep scratching away at us. But one more wing attack and Chimchar will be gone. Wing attack would be super effective, but Chimchar is only fire type. But Monferno is a fire fighting, so flying moves will be super effective. Flight gained 124 EXP. He should level up. So close. Couldn't have given us that extra EXP. But that was a good battle. What just happened? I lost? Are you surprised that you lost, Barry? Are you really surprised? Or did you expect it? Okay, wow, what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll even ever, I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. Oops, sorry about the, the screen. The first thing to do is take on the Orberg City Pokemon Gym. I'm going to toughen up for that totally. And that's where we'll be going, Orberg City. Just let me check my Pokemon. Okay, my Pokemon are fine. I'm going to go through here right quick and might as well battle this trainer. There are going to be a couple trainers through here. And nearby is where we're going to catch our third team member. Abra, as you remember from the last episode, I stated that Abra will be our next team member that we'll be catching. I don't necessarily have an order, but that's where Abra can be caught. Well, that's where the next Pokemon can be caught, the closest to us. And if the, if the trainers have two Pokemon, I'm going to switch out so all of my Pokemon get evened out EXP. And wow, that Beedoof didn't lose from Wing Attack. Even though his tackle only did 1 HP. So Flight's gonna finish off that Beedoof level 5. Good job, Flight. The foe's Beedoof fainted. And you gained 61 EXP points. And Flight levels up to level 12. Youngster Michael's about to send in Zubat. Yes, I will switch out. I'll switch to Roots. Even though Roots is low on HP, Roots can take it. Uh, I think I still have some potions from when I bought some. Uh, oops. I doubt Zubat. So let's use Absorb to heal Root some. Wow, that did a lot less than I expected. So that was basically a waste of a turn. Now I'm not going to use that on Zubat again. Please don't. Please don't. Because leech life. That's not that bad. But that's a bug type move, not super effective. Oh dear. Okay, good. I only did two. Shake it off, Roots. Shake it off. Had its energy drain, but only by two. And thank goodness Roots is faster and Deuce does a tackle on Zubat. And Zubat almost goes down. And the low red zone. And he goes for a leech life again. He's going to keep using Leech Life, just Leech Life, just to get his HP back up. But he's going to lose before his HP can get higher, higher. And you're done, Zubat. You're done. You're done. The foe Zubat fainted. Roots gained 60, 70 XP. My B, my poor Beedoof and Zubat. Yes, your Beedoof and Zubat were useless. No offense to you, sir. Do I have any potions? Yes, I have one potion. Use it on roots. And what's over here? Over here we have a Pokeball. 
not really what we needed, but we can always use Pokeballs. This lady or trainer? Apparently not. Blah blah blah, I don't want to listen to you, to what you have to say, I just want to battle. Hands up here. Are you a trainer? Yes, you are a trainer. We're always together, I'll show you how we bonded. Let's get this battle over, over with. I'm gonna try to beat the first gym in this, and that's how I ended off. I'll beat the first gym. Cricketot. Dot is a bug type, and Quick Attack is at a disadvantage. But Quick Attack, I mean, Quick Attack, or Quick Attack is faster, but uses Bide. It doesn't do much, and Quick Attack goes down. One hit KO. Suppose Quick Attack fainted, and Flight gained 61 EX, 81 EXP. Under 12 money for winning. And we run into a trainer. That was fast. Haven't even been out of battle for three seconds. Yet. Beedoof. Why do all these people have Beedoofs? They're worse than Ratatas. Uh, let's go for a quick attack this time. Something different. And that, oh, that almost beat the Beedoof. And Beedoof uses Tackle, which does two damage. Light use Tackle. Beedoof fainted, gained 40, 90 XP. I just sent in Starly. Since she's about to send out Starly, I'm gonna switch to Roots. Let's just hope she doesn't have any flying type moves, which I doubt she does. Let's go with a tackle. Let's get this battle over with because this video is about 18 minutes 18 minutes long and I'm I really need to beat the gym leader by the end of this video roots leveled up to level 12 that's it in Badoo and gonna send it flight since fly is a flying type against a grass type Wing attack. Should beat Badoo in one hit since it's only level 4. Earn 52 XP points. Player defeated last Caitlyn. Last, last Clay Caitlyn. I'm going to say Clayton. Last Caitlyn was no match for us. No match, absolutely no match. Now let's walk around, run around you. You a trainer? You a trainer? Yes, you indeed are a trainer. Uh, so many trainers, but we need to get used to so many trainers. Challenge by Youngster Sebastian. One Pokemon, and that's a Machop. First time seeing a Machop in this game so far. Wing attack, since flying is good against fighting. Super, super effective, whatever you want to say. And hopefully Machop will go down. Yes, Machop went down. With a one hit KO, wing attack. Flight gains 112, should level up. Yes, Flight leveled up to level 13. I do not remember what level Starly evolves. Wants to learn double team. 
Forget a move? Yes, I'll forget a move. A move should I should be forgotten. Growl will be forgotten since I prefer double team over Growl. Because Growl lowers their attack, but double team low, um, raises my evasiveness. If my evasiveness is, is risen, then I'll be able to evade their attacks better. So I won't get hit as much. 112 money. Now, your trainer. Yes, you are too indeed a trainer. Last Madeline sent out Starly. And I'm not gonna switch out since I'll just take too much time. We're already at. Okay. Quick attack. Oh, and Starly is awesome because he beat that other Starly in one hit. I mean, Flight. Gotta get used to calling them by their name. Flight. That's Ma Madeline's about to send in Bidoof. Can I switch? Yes, I will switch because Roots needs to get some training too. I want to even out my Pokemon's level so one isn't always super, super high level above all the others. Because that happens sometimes. I accidentally train one Pokemon, and that one Pokemon becomes an extremely higher level all over the others, and I end up only using him, because when I get later in the game, um, I'll only be able to use the stronger one, since the other ones are too weak. And that's why, when that happens, I usually go back, but I prefer to just not have to go back and just get them all even first. Finish off this beautiful tackle. And that was not the last trainer battle because we're going to be going through that cave to the right. Yes, this video is running pretty long, but we're still going to battle the gym leader. Hopefully this is the Pokemon I'm going to catch. Abra, Abra. No, just the dumb Bidoof. I will not be battling wild Pokemon because that is kind of a waste of time. Waste of time we will, I will never get back. Just need to find the Pokemon I am looking for. You are not the Pokemon I am looking for. I already have a Starly. If I want another Starly I would catch you. But fortunately I do not want another Starly so I will run away. No, you are not the Pokemon I'm looking for. Uh, we might not have enough time for the for the um, gem leader in this, but I'll see. I'll see if we have enough time. Video is running pretty long, but you all like long videos, right? Yes. Who doesn't love a long video? Starly, you are not the Pokemon I'm looking for. Got away safely. Please let me find the no sign. Find the Pokemon I'm looking for. Yes, be it, be it, be it, be it. Please be it. Yes, it's it. And I don't care. Yes, it's level five. Well, that's not. Well, it's a good level. I'm just glad it's not level two. So, you know, so it won't teleport away. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball at it. Might not be the best approach, but oh well. Cause they'll catch it. So, oh, see how I did that? I didn't even lower that Abra's HP. Cause I know if I did, he would just teleport away. Cause. If an Abra is disturbed, he'll immediately teleport away after it's like hit or something. So that's why I decided to just immediately throw a Pokeball at it. And our newest addition to the team, Abra, the Psy Pokemon, a Psychic type. Give a nickname to the cut, Abra, yes. And thank goodness I already have a name for you. What I noticed is I've been 
I am Pokemon names with all capitals. I am not gonna do that anymore. I R O H. Yes, I'm gonna name you Iro. Perfect name for an Abra. You a trainer? No, you're not a trainer. Oh look, oh look there, you got a Pokech. You're still pretty new trainer, aren't you? It's all good. You're a new fellow friend Pokemon. Let me give you a gift of this hidden machine to you. In HM06. We all know what that HM is. It is Rock Smash. It contains a hidden move Rock Smash. Pokemon learning Rock Smash. Blah, blah, blah. We all know what Rock Smash is. You don't have that badge. Pokemon can't use a hidden move outside of battle. Yes, so. No, oh, I didn't want to talk to you again. Did not want to talk to you again. Yes, 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 I know about Rock Smash. Hello, Mrs. Trainer. Oh, 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 let's get this battle over with. Thank you, one Pokemon. Oh, that was a guy trainer. Well then. Go flight. Hopefully that'll take down take down Shinx. Mostly took down Shinx HP. Leer. Shinx, you are not smart. You should have just attacked Flight while he already had some HP taken down. And we're finishing off Shinx with tackle again. The most useful attacks Flight has is tackle and wing attack, but but quick attack is pretty good too. Just doesn't deal as much damage. It just makes you go first always. Got 112 money. Yes, thank you for your money. Another trainer. Blah, blah, blah. I do not want to hear your ranting. Hopefully you only have one Pokemon. You have two Pokemon, unfortunately. But do. It's a good thing we have Starly now, isn't it? Flight, sorry, flight, not Starly. You are a Starly, but your name is Flight. You are Flight. And Badoo is down with a one-hit KO wing attack. And gain EX72 EXP. Send out Psyduck. Psyduck, water psychic type. That me you know what that means? Gotta switch out flight for roots since roots is a grass type. I can send out roots now because roots is not yet part ground. He does not become part ground until he is a Torterra. Absorb because absorb is the only grass type move I know, unfortunately. Let's just beat Psyduck now. Almost. Almost beat Psyduck. Oh, Psyduck used Tail Whip. Just finish off the Psyduck with Absorb again. Even though I have full HP. Whatever, I don't care. Game Deity 5 EXP. Defeated Diana, I think it was. Okay, got money. Yes, thank you for your money. And now we can exit this cave. Okay. I'm just going to end this video now because it's been going on for almost 30 minutes. So, this um, um this has been Metal Luigi's. Thank you for watching another part of Pokemon uh, my Pokemon Pearl walkthrough I went it off by saving because I really need to save don't want anything happening again save the game okay okay um thank you all for watching 
stay tuned for the next episode that I will be uploading tomorrow, maybe. Okay? Thank you all for watching again, which I already said that. Hope you all have a wonderful day.